A great feature of Excel is its ability to create charts. I'm going to demonstrate how to create a chart that will give us data representing pretest and post-test growth. My data has already been entered into Excel. Notice that the data has my column headings and also my row headings. Once I've entered the data in, I'm going to select all of it. Then I'm going to go to my insert ribbon located up here. In the charts section of this insert, I have a number of options. I am going to choose column for this example because I think it will be the best representation of the data that I am trying to show. I'm going to choose a 2D column and it automatically understood what my row headings were and what my column head titles were and it automatically put the legend in for me. It automatically inserted the chart into the middle of the page. However, I can just click when I have a four headed um, arrow as a cursor, I can click and drag to wherever I'd like. When the cursor is a two headed arrow, I can also click and make larger or smaller. I can click on any of the information in the chart and continue to format it. Here I've selected my titles and if I go to my home ribbon, I can then change the font of that as I normally would any other. Okay, that's a little too small so I'm going to go ahead and make it back to 11. I can also add further labels inside. When my chart is selected, and you can tell it's selected because I have this gray thicker border, if I deselect it, notice that the border turns a very thin line. So when it's selected, <coughs> excuse me, I have additional ribbons for the chart which allow me to further edit it. So there's design, in which case I can actually change my chart type if I decide I don't like it. I can change my colors. If I go to the layout ribbon, I can add a chart title, I can add axis titles, and I can add data labels. This is what I wanted to show you. If I go to data labels, I can choose to put labels inside the columns here. So not only do you have a representation, visual representation, but now you have an exact number of what each of those bars represent. Uh, you could um, change the grid lines. So you can see I have some vertical, um, excuse me, horizontal grid lines here. Um, I can change them. I could put vertical grid lines in. Um, I always like to give a chart title. In this case, I will call it question growth um, and over here in the format you could further change border colors um, shape colors fill colors so there's a lot that you can do to make it look a little fancier um, you can even click in here and actually make the chart a little larger you can move the legend to a different location. So there's a lot that you can do to make it look better. Um, or you could just leave it as Excel creates it.